Hello, class. Good evening, teacher. All right, how are you? Great, listening, a new album. Which album? Uh, Niratias from Chevelle is alternative rock. Oh, really? Oh, I, I never heard of them, I think. I think I never heard of them. No, it's a, actually it's a, a 2000 band. It's like a new metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't like you. <laughs> I don't like you. You know, you know who I, I, I listen to a lot recently is, um, I love that band. They're so great. It's um, Arcade Fire. Mm. Yeah, I know that band. Yeah, they're good. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. No, because what what I like about that band is like the Killers. When you ah, listen to them, the you hear is, it's a great band. Yeah, when you hear them, you hear all the influences of the '80s, of all the bands. You hear the Killers, you hear REM, you hear U2, you hear Van Halen, you hear you hear a lot of things. And then yeah, and Brenda Roses is a great singer. Yeah. Yeah. I like, no, they are a great band. Hello, Anna. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine. What happened yesterday? Oh, yeah, you uh, were in class yesterday. <laughs> I have oh. a problem with uh, my internet, but now oh. uh, that technician visited to and checking that. What happened to your arm? Sorry? What happened to your arm? Uh, no, it's my arm. It's my shoulder. I have a shoulder problem. Okay. I need to a uh, surgery, uh, but the doctor at the moment only infiltrated that uh, bones, and I have to have him immobilized for three days. Immobilized. So from now to Saturday. From now, oh, okay. Only for three days. So you will have surgery? Yes. Later. Maybe okay. three or two or three months later. Oh, okay. Yes. I have a bad because I terrible pain with my shoulder. <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> yes, those pains are heavy. Yes. Okay. And, and you know, be careful. Don't be in a hospital right now. COVID is dangerous. Yes. Uh, it's for this reason I didn't have decision of the surgery for the moment. Yes. Yes. Have you have you had COVID? Anybody here? Yes. No. Uh, and in a, in a hospital, is maybe it's probably I have a virus. <laughs> I I got COVID. Um, yes. Like two months ago, I had COVID. It's ugly. Terrible. Yes. Yes. I, yes, in my, in my family, I my brother uh, and my sister-in-law, uh, they have the virus three or four months ago. Yes. You know, to some people it affects, to some people a little, to some people a lot. It, it depends. Uh, some people believe in COVID, some people don't, some people say it's conspiracy, blah, 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 blah. Um, all I can tell people is that I have been sick before, but when I got COVID, I never been sick in that form, in that way. So, you know, when people tell me, oh, it's not COVID, it's, it's you know, when you have COVID, all I can, rem uh, I can recommend is listen to the professionals. 
don't listen to your friend, don't listen to your neighbor, don't listen to, to you know, when people say, no, I'm crazy. And, and when people start telling you, look, you get an onion with lemon and this and that and this and that, just listen to the doctor. Yeah, it's better. Yes, it's the best. Uh, COVID is pretty much from from your your background. Do you know what is background? In Spanish, the espalda baja. No, antecedentes, background. Oh yeah, ba background. Your family background. Okay, antecedentes. Yes, family back because I remember when I got COVID. Okay, uh, it's. In my case, in my case, it was progressive because first I, I had a fever. And for two days or three days, I think my fever did not stop. And when I called the COVID hotline, they care most, what they really care about is your breathing. And they tell me, but are you okay? Can you breathe? Yes, yes. You have no problem. No, no. I have a fever. Yes, but can you breathe? <laughs> so um, so maybe they say, because there's so many people with COVID, they only really take emergency. So I had the fever. Then what, what was really, really, really terrible is the pain in your body. It's your complete body. It hurts like, oh, oh, I mean, I remember I slept on the floor because the bed, I couldn't move. And then I lost my smell. And then I lost my taste. And, and I was scared because it was progressing. But the doctors call me, you know, they call me every day and they ask you, can you breathe? Is your breathing okay? So yes, my breathing. So I think that's the biggest, biggest problem. Uh, if you have fever, though, you're okay. If you, if you have problems breathing, that's the problem. Is the person that need to study in a hospital? Yes, they, they, they check more on you. So I, 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 I recommend you to, to uh, buy an oximetro. Really, it's, it's very important to have that you, so you can check your breathing. Because the doctor told me something very true that um, usually if you get that, somebody else in your family might too. And he told me, Look at when somebody dies. When somebody dies, it's very likely that if a immediate family member of that person gets COVID, will die too. And it's true, it's true because when my father lives, like three people have died and mama, papa, hermano, hermano. Yeah. Yeah. So, because of your of your background, it's 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 in your genetics. So for me, COVID is real. It's true. I mean, I had it. You know, when people, I, I really really got angry when people called me. Oh my God! How are you? No, I'm I'm okay now. That's not COVID, hombre. It's this. It's that. It's like, oh. <laughs> you know. Really, man? <laughs> I feel very... Many very... people don't believe that. No, okay, but it's okay not to believe it. But to influence somebody, I think that's, that's a problem. Let me give you an example. Um, people, what is that problem with sugar? Diabetes. Yes, diabetes. Okay. Everybody says, drink lemonade, drink lemonade, drink lemonade, because the lemon is good for the COVID. The doctors say, don't drink lemonade. 
because if you drink lemonade, you put sugar. And sometimes people don't know if you are diabetic. Yeah. So if you get COVID and you discover you're diabetic, then you have a problem. But no, people tell you, drink, drink lemonade, drink lemonade. Imagine you drink 10 glasses of, of lemonade a day. How much sugar are you are you drinking? Yeah, so you know, that's what I recommend you if you or, or if any family or friend gets COVID, just listen to the professionals. Don't listen to that person. No, hombre, sí. Eso es pa, los chinos inventaron. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Many, many people uh, told that, that, that the COVID is, is a, a very simple flu and cold. And you know what else is funny? That people say that the injection, the injection is for the government to control us. And I said, really, man, you, you think it's for that? Yeah, the government, they want to control everybody. Why would the government want to control me? The government already controls everybody with your cell phone. Everybody, Every yes. Everybody has a smartphone. That's enough. Why, why invent a, a vaccine? <laughs> but there is a, I, I recommend you in Netflix, there is a, no sé si aún está, se llama Explicando el Coronavirus, something like that. It's very, very good. It's very interesting. No, coronavirus, coronavirus Explained. Okay. It's three episodes. It's very, very interesting. It's like 20 minutes every episode. So the complete three episodes is like one hour. But it's very good because the first episode tells you what happened, how, how, how the coronavirus was explained. I mean, sorry, how the coronavirus was created. And it says, it, it talks about China. Um, before that, Before that, it says, like, why do people in Africa get sick frequently? Because in Africa, the poverty is so, so big that they eat anything. And people live in mountains in Africa. So they eat any animal, but for necessity. In China, people eat animals for like a fetish or... Yes. So that's that's how it started, and, and you know it's it's very interesting. But they say something good. They say that um, the what was really bad was when they discovered the coronavirus in in Waham. The mistake that China did that they did not close the city. And China is overpopulated. So when it got very big in, in all of China, they closed the country. But hey, no, no, I am from Mexico. Oh, okay, bias. Hey, no, no, I am from the United States. Go, go. So people were, <laughs> were leaving the country with the virus. That was the number one mistake. Number two, the CNN video, Europe, um, Italy was watching lo que estaba pasando, what was happening. Italy waited five months and boom, it affected Italy. Remember, Italy was the second country. And what they say is they don't understand the complete world was watching Italy and China and nothing. Después vino España, boom. So in America, he says that one year later, America, we watched everything for one year. Lo que iba a pasar. Y lo dejamos pasar. <laughs> so um, I think what, what the president did here was very good. When he closed everything, 
That was good. No compró tiempo. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so remember, if you ever get sick, listen to the doctors. Call. And it was good because when I called, when I called the uno tres dos tres dos uno something like that, they immediately they sent me the the medicine. And they called me every day, one or two times a day. At the beginning, they called me two or three times a day because of my fever. Are you okay? Pero siempre lo que les digo, repiten. Can you breathe? Can you breathe? Eso es lo que les interesa más. Yes, I'm okay. Okay, good. They tell me, if you walk 10 steps, do you have problems? And I said, maybe because I am tired. Okay, but can you breathe? Entonces... De tanto, tanto, dos semanas de oírse puedo respirar, me imagino que eso es lo que se fijan ellos el, para, para mandarlo a traer en, 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 en ambulancia. Y obviamente eso, ahí es donde pega el, el virus, ¿no? En los pulmones. My neighbor, I have a neighbor. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. She is so beautiful. Every morning... I, I pretend to wash my car <laughs> because she she does exercise. Okay, oh my god! So <laughs> she got she got the coronavirus. I was speaking with her father, with her mother. Why was Jessica? Oh, she's in the hospital since December. I don't even think. Neftali is listening to us. So, so uh, the mother told me that um, she's in the hospital since December. Can you imagine? Pobrecita, somewhere. Con tubos. And I was like, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Y mi esposa me dice, ya no la baje el carro. Ay, sí, me da huevo. <laughs> I, I should start doing it now because you know women are very smart <laughs> all right so let's continue what we did yesterday let's finish let me share my screen with you Remember, we're speaking about hypothetical situations and regrets, correct? Yes, that was yes. the last topic. Yes, the hypothetical situations, like, who can give me an example of one hypothetical situation? Nobody? Okay, so let's continue then. Um, Evaristo, I have a curiosity. Do you have a fan? Yes. I think I think the air is hitting the microphone because we can't hear we hear static. So oh yeah, I see you. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now I can hear. Okay. I, I got one. If I if I hadn't wasted my time, I could have I could have learned English. Okay. All right, good. If I hadn't, who was the soccer player here? It was Jose, right? Pero, right. Hey. Ramirez or Mariano? I forgot. Mariano. Mariano. Yes. If he had stayed with Filippo, maybe he could have been playing in Italy. It was my dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, so we have knowledge check here. It says, um, let me put my glasses on. Excuse me. So um, the test instructions, read each statement, rearrange the regret or hypothetical situations. Or I'm sorry, hypothetical situations given in order to complete the information. No period is necessary, but remember the capital letters. So if I have listened to my parents, decisions, Pragmatic would may would more may have that. Who can complete that one, Evaristo? Okay, uh, I could have may. I could have may. Uh, more. Let me see. I think it's decision, oh yeah, more pragmatic decision, yeah. Yes, I would have made more pragmatic decisions. Yes. Okay, good. Number two, it says, if I've been more active, overweight, I be wouldn't, Anna. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, and I was not in class yesterday, but we're doing these are hypothetical situations. So let me see if Moises can help her, maybe. Yes, teacher. If I being more active, I wouldn't be overweight. Okay. So if I've been more active, I wouldn't be overweight. Yes. Teacher, I think that they want only capital letter in all the answer. Or just the, 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 the first one. Uh, let me see. Rearrange the regret hypothetical given incomplete information. No period is necessary, but remember the capital letters. No, in this case, I because I is capital. Okay. I would have made more pragmatic decisions. No, it's not that. It's what to put a capital letter when it's necessary. Okay, number three, it says, if I've been more ambitious, gotten a, I'm sorry, gotten a, I have good promotion. Let me see. Oh, that's Jose, because I remember he had an issue. With this. Uh, if I be more stuff. ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. So if I hadn't, if I had been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. All right, let's see if that's right. Next, if I studied harder in school, learned I lot a more have good. What would this be, Mario, Jose Mariano? Mm, I could have learned a lot more. I could have learned a lot more. Okay, so let's see. A lot more. Yeah. If I save money, broke now, I be as um, wouldn't I ask? What the hell is that? Arrange that, please, Anna.
Okay. If I if I save money, I wouldn't be as broken as broke as uh, as am um, yes do you know do you know um you know what it says do you know the expression i am broke yes 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 like uh Mauricio Funes, he's broke. As he said, right, he has no money. <laughs> what is broke? Quebrado. Money. No. Uh, Bancarrota. Sin, sin dinero. Running yeah, out of money. No, yeah, no money. I'm broke. Poor. <laughs> I'm poor. La gente cada at a 13 or 28 of the mess. <laughs> like, man, I'm broke. <laughs> because the first, second, third of the month, you eat in Burger King. Or a good restaurant. But 13, 14, you eat from La Niña Cata. <laughs> El comedor. Yeah. Because everybody's broke. And you ask for pay later. Oh, <laughs> yes, you ask for credit. It's called credit. You ask for credit. All right, let's see if we got him. I'm pre um, I want to tell you one thing. Sometimes don't worry. Yeah, I imagine. I wouldn't. Be as broke as I am. Why is this wrong? Okay, look, this is the correct answer. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. Ok, eso es lo que yo les iba a decir. A veces no se preocupen si les sale mal una. Por ejemplo, imagínense esta me salió mal porque no puse now. Aunque en el ejemplo no está. Yes, teacher. Right now, I be a some. No, no. I, I, yeah, the second one is apostrophe. Oh, yes. On part. There you go. Okay, listen to this. The uh, pronunciation here is the reduction of I have and been. So I have, vamos a oír como se dice, I've, and I've been is I've been, I've and I've. Let's listen to the video and then we'll do the the examples. Teacher, teacher, yes. sorry. What was the, the third one in the exercise, please? I I have grown. I'll tell you right now. Hmm, that's an open one. I could have gotten. I could have gotten a promotion. promotion. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's listen to this video right now.
I can hear the video. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi. To wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Sure. Okay, good. Hold on, please. What happened to Naftali? He's listening to music. <laughs> okay, so let's see this again. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Oh, there he is. Yes. Okay, now, these are contractions. Now, this is something... In El Salvador, we have a problem when we speak English because... Well, I think everybody who speaks Spanish, when we speak Spanish, Hablamos del estómago. Por ejemplo, los acentos. Uh, cupido. 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 You know, los acentos, ¿verdad? Lo es. So, we speak from the stomach. In English, the accent comes from your lips. Voy a dar un ejemplo. Every time I order a pizza or chicken, I tell them, my name is David Baltrans. Siempre me preguntan, ¿ve grande o ve pequeña? Ah, pero si fuera ve pequeña, fuera Baltrans. So look at my lips. Baltrons, two lips. And Baltrons, one lip. So what I'm telling you is that in English, nobody will ever ask me that. Big B or little B, big B or little B. Because we always speak from the lips. Have you heard people say, my name is? No sé si me están oyendo, la verdad. Are you listening? Hello? Yes, Hello? yes teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, thank you. Have, yes. you heard, have you heard some people sometimes pronounce my nay is? Yes. My nay, my nay, and it's impossible to pronounce the M with your mouth open. So what is your name? Juan. No, no. Give me your complete name. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Juan. My name or my name? Dian mamá sin mencionar la M. Sin cerrar los labios. It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> ah, ah, Are you ah, ah, you can't. <laughs> but that, that's, that's the problem when people say that pronunciation is difficult for me. No. Use your lips. Because in Spanish, we don't use lips. Y por eso si usted, hey, vení, vení para acá, vení, vení, lo decimos con B grande. Ya voy, B grande. Yes, 
Uh, where is Walter? Ah, está de vacación. De grande. Es voy vaca. Vacación. Vení. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because here, if we don't, if we don't use our lips, it's going to be very difficult to. If we don't use our lips, it's going to be very difficult to pronounce this. So, for example, I should have been when I was younger. If I've been more, I could have. So, I've is the contraction for, for what? If I have been. But the problem is that you need to pronounce that D. If I've. I've, you know, what I'm saying is that this, or if I, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. oh, dev though, dev though, if I've, teacher, but I, I have a question in this yes. situation. If I, 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 I am going to, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, but how can I uh, say it? that when people I was... doesn't understand that, that I am talking about AU, uh, AU uh, uh, primer auxilio, something like that. Okay, what I recommend, really, I recommend don't use contractions, say it complete. You know, I, I always tell people, if if you think is uh, if 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 you think like your like your question, people don't understand me. Okay, then say it complete. It's no problem. Because I've is an is a contraction. It's a contraction, but um, it's it's not it's not it's not an obligation. Remember that so. Teacher, another uh, situation that is, uh, I, I have some doubts. Uh, B is with one lip. Your bottom. B. B. Okay. And, and, and B is with two lips. Yes. Incluso, okay. por eso que en español se llama la B labial. Porque miren, miren mis labios, labial. Hmm. La B grande. Y, y esta es B la fidental. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody in English they call me they beef. Así, así me dicen. Everybody they say they, they always say. They always do this to me. They be the many. Even in Spanish, no me amo David. Me amo David. Se llama Venus or Venus. Yeah. So the, the difference is your lips. Be grande, your two lips. B. This. B. Okay. Yes, teacher. This, this, this thing. I think that is very, very key, clave. Yes. So, yeah. in the, the kindergarten, maybe we we learn this that the name is B labidental or B labial, but uh, maybe. Teachers uh, don't explain what is the why the name is like that. <laughs> yes, 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 that's the thing. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes. So remember, from now on, when you practice English, and it's okay. In fact, speak slower because English is it's really from the lips. Español es del estómago. 
Incluso hay gente que habla español, o sea, lo que habla en español sin abrir, sin mover los labios. El vigilante de mi colonia sepa que dice a veces con Dala, pero se. Je, 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 je. Mm. So I always think, imagine this guy speaking English is impossible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very difficult sí, to sí. understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso me empecé a dar cuenta después de tantos años y aprender la, la fonética y todo. Es el problema porque es que los latinos tenemos un gran acento. Y el acento de nosotros no es en la fluidez, el acento de nosotros es en la pronunciación. Porque hablamos mal nuestro propio idioma. No nos importa que se escuche B o B. Eh, igual los chinos, los chinos tienen un acento, el, el problema del acento de ellos es en la fluidez. Como ellos todos lo hablan por, por sílabas. Con Tain, con Kang. O un ejemplo, right? Tai Mai To, Tai Tao Tan Ka Ka. Y así hablan en inglés ellos también. I want go. Es porque una dota de, de su idioma propio. Pero si ustedes empiezan a usar bien, bien, incluso en español, pero ya empiezan a practicar, les va a favorecer en inglés. I have a teacher from Thailand. Yes. Uh, it was really, really difficult to understand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. The, it, it actually, it was a, a professor of pro, uh, Excel and C Sharp. It's for computer programmers. And it mm -hmm. was really hard to understand what the teacher is telling us yes no it's true it's true and and that that I, um because it's the way they speak los hindus también que hablan bien oh no como que hablan en urdu usted ve los simpsons no i don't like the simpsons You, oh my God, you don't like the same I, I, I prefer salt, but... Um, the, the, the seasons, yes, the, the... Yeah, so that's true. Done. What I liked about the Simpsons, number one, ¿saben dónde viven ellos? Springfield. Springfield. Yeah. Pero nadie sabe en qué estado. Springfield es como decir la avenida Ruspe, que creo que hay una en todo Salvador. There's one in San Salvador, there's one in San Miguel. I think there's one in Santana. So Roosevelt is like allá in Estados Unidos, Springfield, Springfield, Massachusetts, Springfield, New York, Springfield, California. I think every state has a Springfield. So um, The Simpsons is really about American culture. It's about all the cultures that live in America. Por eso está Apu. Uh, well, Evaristo, yes or no? Remember 7-Elevens? Yes, yes. Do you remember the store 7-Eleven? Yes, yes, I remember. Los 7-Elevens, clase, es como las tiendas aquí de gasolinera de la 1 or... Pero allá se llaman 7-Elevens. Evaristo, ¿quiénes trabajaban en 7-Elevens? Okay, but well, uh, the people that work in 7-Elevens in the United States, I don't know why, the majority are Hindus, Indian people. I'm sorry. I think, I think they they buy they buy all the stores, 7-Eleven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Indian people. I'm sorry, it's not Hindu. Hindu is the religion. Indian is the ethnicity. Yes, uh, Indian people. That's why when you go to watch The Simpsons. And the store is the Apu, the Indian guy. Y supuestamente como los indios son tan tacaños que no les gusta pagar empleados, por eso es que en Apu nunca han visto que tiene un empleado. 
Siempre están a las 2, 3, 4 de la mañana, 3 de la tarde y siempre están ahí. It's a, it's a one man enterprise. Yes. <laughs> Ajá, está el latino, está. Eh, y los acentos lo hacen nice. Hello, Mr. Homer. How can I help you today, sir? <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's, that's the phonetics because, so in conclusion, yes, do that. Uh, be careful with, um, practice, well, practice Spanish. Tomorrow, practice pronouncing Spanish good. Y su, su boca se, se acostumbra. Teacher. Yes. Uh, Sometimes we make a mistake when write the... Uh, the short or oh, the reduce shoot off, shoot off, and we write shoot, shoot, and O F off, and that's the wrong. That's wrong. Yes. Yes, because it's I should have, should have, because the pronunciation is should have. And if you say it very fast, so you should have. Okay, but um, that's what that's what I was telling Moises. If you want, and actually I recommend you speak formal, just speak it complete. I should have, I should have, I should have. Yes, let me see the next exercise. Oh, we have a listening exercise. Okay, it says, listen to people describe their regrets. Choose the regret for each person. So let's listen to Yi, Shun, Alex, and Barbara. Okay? Okay. Okay, please hold on. Page 76, exercise 11, listening, regrets. Part A. Listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs, and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Page 76, Exercise 11, Part B. Listen again. What effect have the regrets had on each person's life? 1. Barbara I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. 
I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. Three, Yishan. If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. The program continues on the next CD. Okay, so can you please? Okay, can you please? What was Barbara's regret? Barbara didn't take typing class in high school. Good. Number two, what was Alex regret? Alex. Stopping exciting, exercising. Alex didn't stop exercising. Is no. stop exercising? Oh, he stopped exercising. And what is Ji Shun's regret? Didn't learn to play the guitar as a kid. Good. Didn't learn to play the guitar as a kid. Good. Okay, wow, we finished section one. So uh, on Monday, we're going to start section two. So let's do this. Let me see the chat. Okay, um, do you see the chat right there? Yes. yes. It says, if I had blank, I would. Okay, so let's do a real situation in, in the present tense. Yes, example, Anna Molina, if you had the chance to buy a house in El Salvador, where would you buy it? <laughs> okay. If I have a chance, I had a chance. If I had. If I have a chance. No, if I had. You uh, see, only is, if I have. This is what I'm telling you the difference between I have and I had. Yes. You see, it's in your lips. If I have. No. If I had. If I have. Exactly, yes. Usted me decía así, If I have. Yes, if I have. If I have. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Oh. If I have. If I had. If I had. ¿Saben cuál es otro buen truco? Si les okay. cuesta pronunciar, hagan esto. If. Por ejemplo, a usted, Ana, lo oí en el final. If I... If I have. <laughs> yes. If I had. If I have. Ajá, exacto. Obviamente no va a hablar así, ¿verdad? If I, if I had. No, no van a hablar así. Pero así se va a <laughs> If I have. Exacto. If I have. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. If I have a change by a house in El Salvador, um, I would, I would, sería but, I would uh, buy it in but. I would I buy would it. Buy, I will, but. I would. I would, but. Mm, but. No. Okay, look. If I have a chance to buy a house, I would buy it in a taco. Okay. Can you repeat that? Or a taco or whatever you want. <laughs> okay. If I had a uh, buy a house in if El I Salvador. Had the chance, okay, if, if I had the chance. If, if I had the chance buy a house in El Salvador, I could buy a house in Santa Tecla maybe. Okay, good. Why Santa Tecla? Mm, maybe, los, I don't know, Alpes oh. Suizos? No, why, why Santa Tecla? Uh, because uh, the weather in Santa Tecla is so, so better than El Salvador. <laughs> it's more uh, colder than San Salvador. Really? I think it's the same, no? Or, or, okay. Maybe, no. <laughs> if I had a chance to buy a house in, in El Salvador, I would buy it in a taco. Man. Why? Because number one, the weather. Okay. Number two, the weather. <laughs> <laughs> number no, three, it, the uh, weather. <laughs> the population, there's not a lot of people. I so I imagine there's no traffic. Oh yeah. Uh, well, but if, but remember, but if I had money, if I had money and I could like, I would, you know, I would buy my house in a taco and live in a taco with no problems of money, yes. But I can't, so I have to live in San Salvador and I can't travel every day. You know, I work, I work in, I work in Santa Elena and I have a coworker. He, he lives in Sonsonate and every day he travels my car. Yes, uh, there are a it's lot so of far? people that uh, uh, travel to San Sonate, to San Salvador. From? Um, yeah, but imagine my car, I tell him, how much do you spend on gasoline? He says like 50, $60 a week. I said, okay, something is wrong. No, because I, I have my house in but I, I I tell them, but I mean, basic basic math here. You spend sixty dollars, you spend almost two hundred and fifty dollars in gasoline. You spend almost three hours driving, you know, in the morning and the afternoon. And the and the only good thing in Sonsonate is that you have a house. Vendela, man, come to San Salvador. Or rent your house and come to San Salvador. No, no, I don't want to rent, but it's the thing on me. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. And he always has problems because in Los Chorros, siempre llama puerta, de puerta, de puerta, de What about you, Moises? If you had a million dollars, what would you buy? Well, if I had um, one million dollars, I uh, would like to buy, well, uh, the, the car of my dreams. Uh, one Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9 version. That's all. It, it is, uh, uh, for one million dollars, it is a cheap car because it costs like uh, 35 a thousand dollar okay it, it is correct in this 35 mil yes 
but I, I, I am a, a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a million dollars, I would donate to the diputados. What is it? <laughs> You know, ellos dicen de que soldados, they fought for the country. <laughs> so if I had a million dollars, I think I would like to travel. Or or I would like to live in in um Bulgaria or something. Suiza or something. Disappear and just uh, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Okay. Um, I hope you have a very, very good weekend. Okay. Be safe. Wash your hands. Cover your mouth. Ten cuidado en el super que estoy bien seguro que ahí me tuvo que haber dado el COVID. Porque no salgo para nada, para nada salgo. Incluso trabajaba de casa. Ya. Y el único lugar que yo salía era el super. Once a week. Y también me decía el doctor que estadísticas sí dan que en el super y bancos es donde se da porque en el super tocamos muchas cosas. Como por ejemplo, like, oh, hmm, hey, ¿cuánto vale esto? Ah, lo llevo. Y después nos toca. So, take alcohol with you. Ok. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. For the Have recommendation. A yeah. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. See you, you next Good Monday. Night.